So people keep telling me they need to know a little bit about, more about me. So let me give you a little bit about my background. I, I grew up in hotels. My mother and father were both Holiday Inn innkeepers, and I lived uh, in Holiday Inns from age six till I graduated my master's. And during that time, my dad and mother were troubleshooters for the paranormal company of Holiday Inn. So I learned all kinds of things about how to, to go in and improve things. So process improvement and, and how to make this, these hotels um, from where they are, improving them to the point where the Holiday Inn parent company could either sell it or they'd keep running it. So that's kind of how I grew up. From there, I went to an industrial engineering department. I, I tried to go through art schools and look at art schools because I was I'm an artist, and uh, I decided that I really wanted to go into engineering school. So I went into an engineering school, uh, industrial and systems engineering, and I learned how to apply the uh, technology of the time for quality and productivity improvement in manufacturing to the service environment. So I have about Half of my experience was in manufacturing and half of it was in service environment. And then of that, about half of that was in government and half of the other was in commercial. So I've had all kinds of experiences, worked for some very large organizations, largest in the world, Department of Defense, Department of Energy, uh, NASA, and also their, their contractors like Westinghouse, DuPont, um, uh, uh, Lockheed Martin, Mark Marietta before that, uh, and, and just on and on, a whole bunch of different organizations, worked with Department of Navy, the Army, the Air Force. Um, at NASA, one of the things, one of the big projects we worked on was putting together a science uh, portfolio program that included uh, NASA, Department of Energy, and Air Force. So that, that was one of the programs. And, uh, and then a lot of big programs, a lot of big secret programs too. Uh, and then I, in the commercial environment, worked with healthcare, worked in agriculture. I worked in uh, manufacturing again, and also in a, a whole bunch of different organizations. But I worked with HCA, Ardent Healthcare, and uh, other companies. And during that time, I was the process improvement guy and also project manager, program manager for a lot of these different companies. Sometimes I was a token industrial engineer, which means I'm the guy supposed to fix, make Lean Six Sigma happen. So, so my background, I have certifications, uh, PMP certifications and all kinds of agile certifications. And then also have uh, Lean Six Sigma master black belt. So just to give you an idea. So that's a little bit about my background as an artist, I'm a world-class artist in oils and acrylic, and I'll show you some of this stuff. Um, and and so I, I got this weird conglomeration, conglomeration I call it, it uh, of just stuff that goes together in weird ways. Like the art goes in because if you think of an engineer, every time the engineer designs something, it is creative, right? So there's not really that much of a difference between the creative side. Uh, of what I do in the engineering side, a creative side, design thinking type of thing. So uh, there's just a lot I can bring to the table and I'm here. My number one goal as a project manager or as an instructor or as a teacher or whatever I do is to make everybody look good. So my goal is to make the boss look good, make our customers look good, make our clients look good, make my team look good, make me look good, and make everybody look good. So we're all covering each other's back and we're all working together to incrementally create whatever we need to create. That's the agile concept. You incrementally get to where you're trying to go. You fail uh, quickly and often to get to you know, excellent success. So that's my philosophy. I want you to join me because I think we'll have fun together. I think we'll develop friendships together. And also, I think you're going to learn something and I'm going to learn something from you. The way I go into it is we bring the class together and we try to learn from each other because there's no one person in the world as smart as all of us together. And so that's my philosophy in training. I think you like it. A lot of people do. Uh, the people who don't, 
don't usually want that. They want something else. So if you want that, if you want to be the best you can be in a fun environment, then come join me and we'll talk about that.